before I hit play, I just went, to, I got to go over this, this particular video. I had a video I wanted to make today, but I came across this. I shouldn't have, I should have waited, but I didn't. So let me, you know, I, I will never, ever mix anything good when I talk about her. So let me go ahead and get the anger video out of the way so that I can uh, go forward with what I, w I was going to do. So let me go ahead and get this part of my, because I'm pretty pretty angry. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of angry. So let me see if I can do this. Everything in their catalog has been taken by somebody else that they see as lesser than them. At this point, they've made it impossible for me to have an income because I can't monetize my channel. They told me that if I ever monetized my channel, they would mass record it and have the entire channel nuked and pulled. Okay, first, nobody told you that. And you know that. You're lying. Which is all you ever do. I don't know where the truth is, but I know one thing. It's not in California. It's nowhere near you. You lie about everything. So no one told you that. At no time have you ever been told that. So let's carry on. It's me to start over from the beginning because I am not allowed to earn money through YouTube. If I publish another book, they'll buy one copy and then repurpose it and sell it on their end to make money and ensure that I don't make any actual money from my work. You know, that was that was what got me right there. Your work, your work, you actually think that lying, stealing, deceiving, greedy, selfish human being you are is called work. You've got to be kidding me. You you can't you can't possibly put yourself in their category. You can't. There's something seriously seriously wrong with you and, and you know no let me let me rephrase that that's what i've always thought the problem with you is you were told too many times how perfect you were and how you know you just nobody nobody wanted to hurt your feelings well you know that's a lesson i've learned and and i've shared it with my children so they don't make the same mistake with theirs you know it's it's just a little thing we have here we don't want to raise mary's we want to raise strong, independent people, not Marys. You know, you have to have criticism in your life or you, you don't learn. You, you have to have failure or you don't learn. You might get through life a, a long time without, you know, having any type of failure. And then you, you will. And you got to know how to handle it. You don't know how to handle it. You can't handle the fact that you personally are a failure by your own choice. No one else's. You made your bed. You know, as my mom would say, you got to lie in it. You either got to get up and make it or you got to, you got to change it. But you're not going to do neither because that's all you've ever done is sit there and wait on someone else to come and do it. But do you referring yourself as work? How in how is lying, stealing, manipulation, just every single horrible thing? that I can think of, you do it, and it's called work. You tear down, you tore my family apart, like just ripping every good thing that was there to shreds. That's your work. Well, you need to find another job, and maybe you could find one that would actually pay you to go buy your own damn tampons or maybe pay a phone bill. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt anybody would hire you. Seriously, that would be a challenge I'd give you. I know others have tried, but it didn't motivate you at all. It motivated you to drag a microwave that you got from the government down to the pawn shop to be told no for Royce Lopez to save you that day. You know, all these people that you talk about, every single one of them has saved you at some point. Paid your phone bill, bought your groceries, you just done, done things for you like you, you they fed they really they just fed into what you'd already was used to but they learned 
They figured it out. It doesn't take much to figure you out. And I'm so thankful that you have just made enough videos that you have validated every single thing I have said since I came on here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You, you your lies is why I'm here. Your destruction, your thievery, your deception is why I'm here because I can't sit by and let you tear my family apart no more because my grandchildren may need to pull and gain some strength one day and to have you shred it and with nobody saying anything, I can't allow that. They've got to have some hope that you are not the answer. You are, <laughs> you are not going to be the last word. Quite frankly, I don't care how you leave this world. It doesn't matter to me. That 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 thought is caring, it's gone, it's been long gone. I just hoped that I can make it long enough that I leave behind a word so that they know that there's there is a whole lot more than you. You're the failure. You're the mistakes that every single parent makes all rolled up into one. They're not wanting to say no. And someone said it in and I seen it in the chat the other night in uh, Donna's Paul's show where they was like, you know, this is what happens when you raise your daughters to think they're a princess. Well, you know what? That is so true. In fact, I had just said that to my son. I was like, you got to be careful because she is your princess and she always will be. But she's going to grow up and I, and she's not going to be a princess. It's, it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's the truth. And she's got to learn that she, she, you know, daddy might give her her way, but not everybody else is going to. You got to get out there. And that's what happened with you. If that, they, if that was a disease and had a name other than manipulating, lying, little stinking bitch, then you would have that disease. And, and I would back it up 100%. Lord, I'd, say, I'd write you a certified letter. If they <laughs> give you what you want, because that's, that's the disease you've got. I don't even know where to begin. You just, but work, you don't work. You haven't worked a day in your life. And I can't imagine you will ever even attempt to. You're going to continue to do what you're doing. And I'm just going to kind of separate myself a little bit more and more and more until I get angry, and then I'll come on here. You know what, what should have been, you know, I'm going to say this. I know I stopped what I was doing. But you had an opportunity to make a difference in this world. And you've made a difference, all right. A difference in to, to destroy and and just show once show what a true lion pathetic sack of garbage looks like. That's that's the purpose that you have served in this world. And if that was the purpose that was intended for you at birth, well by God you've done your job. Now you can go on. You're finished. You fired, gone. But I don't believe, I don't believe that's anybody's purpose. So let me try to hit this button again. Y'all bear with me if you're listening. Any video that I upload, they upload on channels that they have monetized to get money off of my work. Uh oh. It's <laughs> frustrating. So they're selling merch using my name, using my face, my image, even their merch. They can't sell unless it has my name. Good Lord, Mary. Good Lord, good Lord. You need serious counseling. You need to be told the truth. You're ugly. You're annoying. You're manipulative. You're a liar. You're just a whole pathway of destruction. That's all you are. They can't make money without your your face, your work. Your work, again, it's just mind-boggling to me. <laughs> I can't even get over it, it that you could use that word. I ain't never heard you say that word in your life. That's a, that's a crime. They, 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 they're not getting rich off of you. You know what? And it. As far as, thank that I'm so thankful that they do have 
the videos saved because you have broke the law so many times. Eventually, one of us is going to be able, or if we're forced to, by you, of course, we'll have what we need to go to court with or anywhere else or to the police or wherever we need to take it. So I'm I'm thankful that they did. You know, that's that's that was a good that was good planning on their part. I mean, I guess somewhere deep inside they knew you were gonna be the demon of demons. So they had to they they had the good thoughts to go ahead and save them. I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd known how to do that. So it's not to make money and <laughs> it's it's preservation or what are you saying? I don't know, forget what I'm saying, because I've done got myself upset and worked up and hadn't made a video in a while. Let me just move on. Let me try to. Attached to it, but I'm not getting anything from that aside from the harassment and the death threats and the rape threats. Everything they are is stolen. And they bully the people who they stole it. Everything they are, they stolen. Oh, good Lord. Well, you need to go steal from the same place. You hear me? Go get go get in line and steal it too, because they what they stole was talent. they they have morals. They have manners. They have creativity. They have ambition. They know how to work. They know how to be honest. They know how to give. You, you have, you're none of that. So they, if, if there's any thieving going on and if that's what they've been stealing, well, get your lazy, no good for nothing ass up and steal it yourself because you need it. This, th this goes with your big head theory. And let me just say this because I'm in a, I'm in a really really <laughs> pissy mood okay you're ugly you are ugly you are ugly you give me a headache you're so ugly where you really came from i have no idea but, but you are one ugly ugly human being inside outside upside down from the top of your squirrely head to the the end of your long ass toenails you are ugly and I've had to say that. I just got to because I can't stand it. You put your big ass face on that screen and you take up the whole thing. Let me stop right here for a 